In this lesson, we are going to learn how to solve a matrix equation with an inverse, okay? Because maybe you've had a question like this before, where you've got x over there, and then you've got a matrix, like 2 and 3, and then you make that equal, or that's equal to 4 and 7. Now, what would the logical thing be? If I told you find x, well, what you might be tempted to do, I know this is what I wanted to do when I was a student, was I would just say, oh, I'm just going to divide them, bro, because, I mean, that's what I always do. Like, if I have an equation like this, I'm just going to divide by 3, and I would get x as 2. However, what if I told you that with matrices, there is no such thing as divide? You can't divide matrices. So does this mean that we simply cannot solve this equation? Well, no. What we do instead is we use the inverse method, okay? So what you would do is you would, um, just move this little x up a bit here, you would put the inverse, the inverse of 2, 3, the, the matrix 2, 3 over here, and we've learned how to do matrix, I mean inverses before, okay? Um, and then you would do the same over here, but you must always pop it in the front. So you'd put the inverse of the two, three matrix over here. Because what you do to the one side, you do to the other side. Let's just move that up a bit. So that's all that you would do. Because what happens is that when you multiply, listen carefully, when you multiply an inverse of some matrix with its matrix, you end up getting, um, you end up getting, um, these two pretty much just cancel each other out, okay? That's what you can just remember for now. They cancel each other out, and then you would have x alone, and then simply you'll just go multiply these two together. So I'm going to show you some examples now of how this all works. So here's our first one, okay? So here's what we're trying to find. We're trying to find x. So what you're going to do is you need to try to get rid of this one. So the way that you do that is you need to go find the inverse of this one. So let's go do that first. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to find the inverse of um, this matrix. Okay, and can you remember how to find the inverse? Well, remember, uh, the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix is when you say 1 over the determinant, and then what you do, well, this is that part where you would then um, switch these two around, remember that? And then you would take these two, and you would switch their signs around. Okay, so I think let's go find the determinant along. So the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix, we've done a lot of this by now. You multiply these two together, which is negative 16. Then you say subtract, and then you multiply these two together, which is negative 24. And so that becomes negative 16 plus 24, which is 8. Okay, so that's going to give us 8. So we can fill that in over here, 1 over 8. The next thing we do is we then switch this these two numbers around, so it becomes 2, negative 8, like that, and then with these two, you don't switch them around, but you change their sign, so it becomes 12, and then negative 2. What you then do is you multiply this 1 over 8, um, this 1 over 8 into every single one of those elements. All right, so if you had to multiply 1 over 8 by 2, um, that would give you 2 over 8, but that's the same as a quarter. So that's going to be um, a quarter. And then one, and then this one would be negative a quarter. If you had to multiply 1 over 8 by 12, you would get 12 over 8, but that's the same as 3 over 2. So 3 over 2, and then negative uh, 1. So that is the inverse uh, matrix. Okay, so what you're going to do then is you're going to go pop that into the front over here and you're also going to pop that into the front over here. Remember, if you do it on the one side and you do it on the other side, that's mathematically allowed. So um, we're going to go add it in the front. So it's going to be a quarter and then um, three over two and then negative a quarter and negative one. Okay. And then over here, we're going to go plug in um, 4 and the 0. And then on this side, we're going to do the exact same. So it's a quarter, uh, 3 over 2, negative a quarter, and negative 1. And then the original matrix, which is negative 8, negative 12, 2, and 2. All right. Now, if you had to go multiply these two together, we don't have to go and do that. But if you did, you would um, you would end up with an identity matrix, which is goes 1, 0, 0, 1, okay? So what you can actually just do is just 
cancel these out, like cancel those out completely. Um, so in the next step, you're only gonna have X on the left hand side. Now what you need to go and do is just multiply these two together. Remember how to multiply matrices together. So we look at the order first. So this matrix is a two by two. This one here is a two by one. So can they be multiplied? Yes, because those two inner numbers are the same. And then if you look at the outer numbers, that's what your answer will look like. It'll be a two by one matrix. So two rows and one column. Okay, so let's begin. So to find this first one, uh, we can see that that is in uh, row number one and it's in column number one. So we go to row number one and column number one. Remember, we spent quite a lot of time multiplying matrices in a few uh, lessons ago. Okay, so that's gonna give us, so we said we're gonna multiply, um, we're gonna use this row and this column. So it's going to be this multiplied by this, which is one, which is one, and then it's gonna be this multiplied by this, which is zero. So that's just gonna give us a one. And then it's gonna be um, this position here, which is in row number two, but it's in column number one. So row two, column one. Okay, so we can just do that, we can just do that. Okay, so what that's gonna end up becoming is um, you're gonna multiply these two together, so that's gonna give you six, and then you're gonna multiply these two together, but that's gonna give you zero. So it's gonna be six plus zero, which is six. And so there is our answer. X is going to be equal to, X is a matrix that is equal to one, six. Here's another example, and then I've got one more example for you after that. So here you're trying to get X by itself. So we need to get rid of this. So the way that you do that is you, is you can't do division. I know it's tempting to just take this under there and say divide, but instead you go get the inverse of this one, okay? Because when you multiply this one by its inverse, it just undoes the process. And remember, we always add the inverse in the front, and the front. You don't want to add it at the back. It's always in the, because when you're multiplying matrices, the order does matter. So we just always go front and front. Okay, so let's go get the inverse of this one. So just to remember, to get the inverse, you say one over the determinant. And then what you do is you switch these two elements around. So it'll be one, seven. Then these two, you don't switch around, but you change their sign. So it'll be one and five. Okay, so let's go get the determinant of this one over here. So to do that, you just say seven times one, which is seven, subtract, and then these two multiplied together gives you five, and so that's gonna give us two. So we're gonna put one over two. Then you're gonna take that one over two and you're gonna multiply it into every single um, position or element over here. And so that's gonna give us um, one over two, five over two, one over two, and seven over two. Okay, so now we're gonna go take that inverse now and we're gonna go put it into the front of um, both sides. So it's gonna look something like this. And then there's an X. And then that's gonna be equal to, um, now we're gonna do the same. So a half, a half, five over two, and seven over two. And then uh, 37, negative three, like that. Okay, so don't worry about multiplying these two together. It's just gonna cancel out. So you're just gonna end up with a big X. And then this part over here, because your teacher might talk about it. When you multiply these two together, you end up with I, which is called the identity matrix, okay? Um, and then here we need to go multiply these two together. So let's first see that it would work. So we know that this is a two by two. This is a two by one. So can they be multiplied? Yes, because those two numbers are the same. And then the outside numbers, um, these outside numbers are what the answer would look like. So it will be a two by one. So two rows, one column. Okay, so for the first one, the, for this first element here, that's in row one. So we go to row one, and then it's in column one. So we go to column one in that matrix. So it's gonna be that and that. All right, so that's gonna end up becoming a half multiplied by 37 plus five over two multiplied by negative three. And so that's gonna give us 37 over two, take away 15 over two. And so that's gonna give us 11. Whoopsie, 
it's going to give us 11. And now we need to go do the next part. So the next part would be, um, if you ever get lost, we're looking for this part here. So that's in row two. So go to row two. And then uh, column number one. See, it's in column number one. So in this one, you go to that column. And so that's going to be a half multiplied by 37 plus 7 over 2 multiplied by negative 3. And that's going to give 8. So here's our last example. So here we're trying to get x by itself, right? Um, but this is just a negative matrix. So you can actually just take this matrix over to the other side and combine it with this one. So we now end up with um, the following. And then that's going to become negative uh, 42, 19, uh, then plus and then six and negative 10, like that. Okay, and so now what we have is negative seven, one, nine, zero, and then, okay, so now these you're just gonna combine like normally. So it's negative 42 plus six, which is gonna give you uh, negative 36. So negative 36. And then you're gonna say 19 plus negative 10, which is nine. All right, now we need to get x alone. So remember, we can't divide by this part. What you do instead is you need to get rid of this. How do we get rid of this? Well done, if you remember, we get the inverse. So we don't get the inverse of this one. Remember, you're trying to get rid of this part over here so that the x will be by itself. So it's actually a capital X. It represents that it's a matrix. Um, so we're going to get the inverse of this one. So remember, to get the inverse, it's 1 over the determinant. And then what you do is you switch these two around. So it'll be um, 0, negative 7. And then these two, you don't switch around, but you switch their signs. So negative 1, negative 9. Okay, so let's go get the determinant of this one. Don't get the determinant of the changed one. Get the determinant of this one. So you multiply these two together, which is 0. Then you say it's minus, and then you multiply these two together, which is 9. Okay, so that's negative 9. So the determinant is negative 9. Okay, then what we do is we take this negative, I mean, sorry, yeah, you can write it as 1 of, uh, sorry, negative 1 over 9, and you're going to multiply that with every single element in this uh, matrix. And so um, that's going to give you uh, 0, then 1, because negative 1 over 9 times negative 9 actually just gives you 1, and then uh, 1 over 9, and then 7 over 9. Yeah, because that's a negative and a negative, which makes a positive, and then a negative and a negative, which makes a positive. And so that's what we have. So this is your inverse. So let's just make a little note. That is our inverse. Okay, so we can erase all of this other stuff now. And so what we'll do now is you'll take that inverse and you'll go put it in the front. Please always put it in the front and then in the front. Okay, not at the back, in the front for both of them. And so we're going to end up with um, 0, uh, 1 over 9, uh, 1, and then 7 over 9. And then the other one is negative 7, 9, 1, and 0. And then there's an X, whoops, capital X. And then we do the same on the other side. So we put that same inverse. So 0, 1 over 9, 1, and 7 over 9. And then, uh, what's the other number? Oh, negative 36 and 9. All right. Good job, guys. So now, remember that these two just cancel out. Because when you multiply an inverse with its original, um, it just cancels out to become the identity matrix, which is like... Um, it's, it's, it's a matrix that has ones on the diagonals and zeros everywhere else. Okay, so for example, if you're interested, like a 4 by 4 identity matrix would be like this. See, so that's called an identity matrix. If you heard that random little sound in my background now, um, <laughs> guess what that was? That was actually a washing machine. So um, where are we? Okay, so that cancels out. So you just end up with X. Okay, and so now what you're going to do is you're going to multiply these two matrices together. So this is a 2 by 2, and this is a 2 by 1. So can they be multiplied? Yes, they can, because those two numbers are the same, and the answer is going to be a 2 by 1 matrix. So a 2 by 1, so two rows, one column. Okay, so for the first one, 
for this first element, it is in um, row one and uh, column, yeah, row one, column one. So we're gonna go to row one and column one, like that. And so that's gonna be um, zero multiplied by negative 36 plus one multiplied by nine. And so that's just gonna give us nine. And then we're gonna go to uh, this one, or let me first show you. So we're finding this element, so that's in row two, so that's row two, and then column one, like that. So it's gonna be this one and this one. Okay, so that's gonna be one over nine multiplied by negative 36 plus seven over nine multiplied by nine, and so that's gonna give negative four plus seven, which is three. And so our final answer would be nine and three.